And now, the officials are ready. The fighters are ready. Damas y caballeros, están listos? Are you ready? From Houston, Texas. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Does Eric Morales have yet another heroic performance left in him? Or is this young kid, Danny Garcia, right, gentlemen, too young, to too you to good my commands, for the old man? Today, Olympia, you no Touch him up, good luck. I've said of him in the past, he's a good, well-skilled, basic fighter, but I see no particular X factor. Emmanuel, you made a great yeah. point yesterday. If there's... Right hand looping over the top for Morales. Solid shots from Garcia. I mentioned Danny Garcia's left hook to the body, a primary weapon for him. And right now, Morales is fighting a very smart fight. He's been in the end trying to get very close. Garcia's biggest weapon is his youth and reflex speed advantage. With, with timing, and so far, Morales has tried to time Garcia, but the effectiveness of that timing has diminished as this round has worn on. Not a bad round for the old warrior. Oh, very good left jab. At this stage, I've been very impressed with Morales, particularly his left jab. Trading punches in the center of the ring, and you wonder if Danny Garcia's confidence has already been dented just a little bit. Wilson shoots little short punches from such a short distance that Gar Garcia doesn't see him that much. It's up well, to his old tricks. Understands as well as any fighter that combination from Morales, nothing back from Danny Garcia. Right hand over the top for Morales. Good body shot from Garcia. There's a good left hook for Danny. Timing trumps speed. And he knows how to time his punches. Good left hook by Morales. Plus pushing Garcia back with the jab. Three straight uppercuts with the right hand. Morales. Punch punches, very good defense. Haven't been caught with a clean punch. And he gets very close for before he throws his punch in his eye. Double left hand by Morales. I've seen it before. And Good quick left, left hook inside for Garcia. Landed well enough that Morales nodded at Dan. The way he's shooting it. And then he shoots a little short lead right hand. Morales at this stage of his career does not have knockout power. Probably not even the accumulation. Now Garcia starts to step up and jab with Morales. Jab a little bit more, shoot some uppercuts with his left hand or right hand through the center. Wolf has won a strategic battle in the sense that Garcia at the, at the weigh in and the stare down. Back far enough to limit the damage from Garcia's power shots. Good luck took from Danny Garcia. Felt that he was the bigger, stronger, younger fighter. Fresher, faster fighter. There, Garcia got in a left hook to the body. Morales would have to keep stepping up to pace the way he's going right now. Short take the distance, the driving kick. Morales into the ropes, hitting him with a hard right hand, and another right hand shot. Right hand over the top, catches Morales again. Big rally by Danny Garcia. Let's right. see if these punches are hurting Morales. Garcia changed the distance. And Picking him apart with the jab and a little short, straight right hand. But by picking up the tempo, just that alone, no particular punch. Just setting the pace a little bit faster. Left hook for Morales. Lost a little bit, Emmanuel. Where Morales wasn't keeping him on the outside jab. Now it appears that Garcia's effective looping right hands have re-energized Morales. his jab it sets up a lot of good stuff for him yes and he's boxing beautiful too left with his right glove there now garcia straight, straight finds right it. hand and the old competitor comes back good 
Swift left jab by Eric Morales. He landed punches in the fourth round, and you heard Danny's father saying, I don't know what's going on, but you can't fight with more intensity and pick up the pace. Is that set to be more physical, busier? Armor in front of him, and the snake charmer is working his magic, at least in three of the rounds. Not to the public, not to us, just to the corner. Were they in sync with your school? I don't know. They didn't Right when Garcia gets the idea that he might punch, Morales throws three shots. We've been told that the official scorecards that were brought to Danny Garcia's corner showed rounds to one on two cards and Stop! even at two Stop! rounds apiece on the third. You're off his hip. You're coming right here. All right? Got to keep him up. All right? That might be slightly different. Three to one. I think that's, that's the key to the fight. It's not any one particular punch. Just to stay busy. Well, I mean, the, this the, is, we saw this with more cerebral when the less cerebral fighters tries mind works quicker as soon as he sees Garcia's intention he disrupts his rhythm yeah and you know and and, up. and a jab that knocks Morales's head back suddenly because of the power of those two punches oh, so Morales punches are shorter and more accurate whereas uh Garcia even though he's young he has a tendency to loop his punches a little wider Oof. Morales. Morales has slowed down considerably in the round. Garcia landed two of the right hands over the top, but that seemed to have brought Morales more or less to a halt. To the body from Garcia really opened up Morales upstairs. Good left hook by Garcia. And Morales trying to come alive again. Stop, stop, stop. That's what you mentioned. Ellis is hit. He gets two or three back in of his own. That's why a fight may break out. The whole the mark of a great champion. Oh, he was in trouble. Now he tries to stalk Garcia. Good fate by Morales. Faded with the right, landed the left. But the other four rounds, Danny Garcia just laid back, laid back, and let Morales take it to him. Morales, I thought, just outboxed him. That's a good scorecard. Let's fight. Another concerted. Well, the good body shot to the right hand by Morales. When good effort to make that left hook work to the body, Morales is really bringing his right arm down against his rib cage to try to block it. The question as to whether he still had it or youth start to take over here. While you're looking at this fight, you joined us late. When we get to the end of the round here between Carlos Molina and James Kirkland. And we're going to hear it natural sound and I'll point out that it takes place in the 10th round of Molina was winning and appeared to have the advantages in as he cruised toward victory. But Kirkland came on in the 10th round, and now we're at this point in the fight between Danny Garcia and Derek Morales, and we're in round eight. I can't help asking myself if Shirley was going to disqualify Molina because his... And two final points. Number one, the referee refused to interview with us, so he refused to... Kirkland was coming on, just scored a knockdown. All right, let's go back to this one. Emmanuel... And as Harold was saying on his scorecard, I have Morales slowly uh, maybe edging ahead on, in the fight. Well, for the most part, I feel that Garcia's fighting too tactical. He's waiting too much. Alice's defense, he's catching most of those shots on his elbows. Hard right hand by Morales, and now... Gar and he's starting to throw to the body with the right hand because... Morales has been so concerted in blocking the left hand. Hard right hand by Garcia. That's in the last 30 seconds. And here we go again. Emmanuel 
Stewart yeah. with Timothy Bradley choosing to fight at 147 pounds and no telling whether the internet there was even talk of Morales possibly being an opponent for Floyd Mayweather if he I'm not sure that would fly. I don't know how yeah and that to wait so I'm trying to figure that out too well, this fight is uh, still up for grabs and doing better here's a good hard body shot his right elbow and arm Morales has been impressive so this lacks the drama of Morales Maidana or even Morales Cano. Left hook. Playing, sitting back, trying to just lull. Garcia in. He's tired now. His age is beginning to show. Garcia's accuracy is increasing. It would be better if people could wing in the shots on the side so much. Time! Garcia's throwing more. 86, 85, five rounds to four. Danny Garcia. Jim, I thought it round six, seven, eight, nine. Danny Garcia ended it the rounds in a row. I've got him ahead five rounds to four. That's a good scorecard. Fair enough. And Jose Morales was clearly trying to inject energy into his son as he shouted at him. He set that up. He got kept acting like he was going to throw a right hand at the waist, and he looked to win. I mean, he's acquitting himself well, Morales. He shows he could still handle himself, but he didn't get the win against Maidana. And if this continues, he moves all the way to the 140. Good body shot by Eric Morales. Good rally in this round. You know, I know. Hey! Morales evened the scorecard by winning that last round. Yeah, even though you said that the official scorecard shows Gun Garcia versus and the next very convincingly, let's say Morales, that he would probably win a decision. So I disagree with you. If on Morales the wins dramatically in this last round and makes a great last stand here, win or lose, he remains viable. This is the 11th of a scheduled 12, so Morales has about five more minutes, and his father has urged him to seek a knockout. Danny Garcia is going to pick up a title belt, which went vacant at the weigh-in yesterday when Eric Morales elected to weigh in at 142 and not to bother to try to make the 140-pound weight. Blood Morales coming from the mouth of Garcia now. Finding Morales a won't quit with that right hand. Stop, stop, now Garcia's nose has been swelling, and now Morales has basically popped it open. I mean, and Garcia keeps his head in one spot with his puncher, which makes it. Oh! Stop. Down goes Eric Morales. Done. Four, five, six, seven, power shot, eight, nine. Mayaki. He was down five times against Manny Pacquiao. Oh. He's no stranger to the canvas. That was a sudden shot by Garcia. Stop, stop, step back, stop, don't stop, stop. Okay. When I say Possible stop, was not going to issue it. So Garcia is given the right to get away with that one. Actually helped Morales, bought him some time. than a minute to go in the 11th round. Now it's Garcia who's tracking a knockout after Stop. having knocked no Morales problem. down. Knowing what we know about the official scorecards, it's more imperative than ever now for Morales to seek the knockout his father's talking about. We're seeing some real grit from both guys. And I want to see a replay of the knockdown because I'll be honest, Morales' back obscured the punch for me and I'm not sure how Garcia got it. It's to make something big happen, Garcia hurt, bloodied nose, swollen face. He came up with the drama. 35 years old. Hey! May not have trained as well as he should for the fight. Look, vicious left hook for Garcia. Morales has shown that he can still fight and fight well. 
but can he fight well enough to win? He has little with something. For Morales to finish up on his feet with over two minutes left. If he has anything left at all, he's trying to decoy Garcia a little bit here. Be a victory for to me if that was him because his legs is gone and there's no way he's gonna win a decision on this point in the fight. And everything hurts him right now because he is. Well, if it is good night for him in this fight, Emmanuel, in terms of trying to win, he did go gently into it. He gave no. it a real stand in the 10th and 11th. Oh, and another big right hand for Morales. Counter right lands inside for Garcia. He's going to have to try to attack one more time if he's going to give it one last shot. This is the intervening years. He's had so many colorful wars on the ring. If that night made his mark among Mexican fighters and over the court, so many amazingly entertaining fights. And such an outstanding competitive record before guys like Barrera and Pacquiao began to get the better of him that he ranks among the top 10 greatest fighters in the history of Mexico. So quickly. Here no, you see probably which is the best punch of the fight right here. A beautiful right hand shot by Garcia once he stepped up to pace. Close the distance on Morales. Morales does a powerful left hook, and then he hears a right hand again this time. It just, just physically overpowered him with his youth and power at this stage. This is on Morales. Morales doesn't have the time to time his punches to get away. Go, coach. Vamos. We see Garcia landing the type of punch that he, he lands any time he lets his hands go. Here you see Garcia just really powered punching himself his way through. Uh, Morales with it because Morales is just slowing down now period and it, it, he's really and I'm looking at Garcia he's very fresh in his mind his punch here we see what has made Morales such a great and popular fighter always trying always here you see the knockdown right here left hook that came back beautiful left hook but I think a lot was because of the clean punches they didn't see and the fact that his legs was bad at this stage, too. I'll be honest, he's landed this left hook several times. But that was right on the chin. And that's the that's the point. That's the uh, sweet spot. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecards. Oren Schellenberger scores at 117 to 110. Mark Green, 116, 112. Samuel Conde. 118 to 109. All three scorecards go to the winner by unanimous decision. And new WBC Super Lightweight Champion of the World from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Danny Swift Garcia.